everyone, it's me, Xcanadensis, and today I'm going to be showing you my Ever After High doll collection. This has been requested a lot, but I haven't really gotten a lot more since the last collection video. That was, like, years ago, but oh well, we're here. So we're going to start down here, because this is my first edition shelf. I have two. These two are the actual first release. As you can see, they have the lighter eyebrows. And then these two are the second release that have the darker eyebrows, but still have the rings. I just took the rings off when I was younger so I wouldn't lose them and then I lost the bag that I put them in. <laughs> so we're still working on that. And then the three dolls here in box are actually in box. I'll show you one of them. But they're the thick eyebrow version. So like I have both versions of Briar and Maddie. And then back behind Raven here is actually getting Ferris. I don't have any getting Ferris dolls out of box, but I do have one in box. And then we're gonna move over here. This is kind of my Wonderland shelf, I guess. So I have way too Wonderland Kitty. We have original Bunny. I cut her hair. I still don't regret it, but I need to touch it up. Um, and then there's the original Kitty. Signature Lizzie, which I love. I love that doll so much. I actually got her on Halloween one year. And then way too Wonderland Apple. Moving over here. Uh, this was gonna be Epic Winter, but um, I don't really have anybody else. <laughs> look at the blooms there. Don't look at them. I didn't really have anywhere for these two, but here's Epic Winter Ashlyn and Crystal Winter. I love these dolls so much. Some of my favorites. And then these two are like reboot dolls. I don't really know the series for either of them. I don't actually think this is Hattastic Party, but if it is, cool. And then that's the little archery one. And then these are my Ever After High books. I probably have more. Those are just the ones I found. <laughs> All right, moving on up. Anyway, if I get the book party dolls one day, I want to put them on display with those. Here, I put, these two are just here because they're like villains. And then, I don't know. I don't really know the theory behind this setup. And then behind them, because this is like a double layered shelving unit, so don't worry about the dolls behind them. This is Rosabella Beauty. <laughs> Rosabella Beauty. Sorry, I was looking at her, but I had the camera aimed over there. And then Darling Charming, who I love. And then Duchess Swan. And Fabel Thorne, who I love this doll. She's so cool. She kind of, like, really helped me love Ever After High more when I wasn't super into them. And then over here is my Cupid shelf, because Cupid is my favorite character. So I have Daring, or er, <laughs> Dexter Charming here, which is my only, well, actually, no, he's not my only Ever After High boy, but I actually really like him. And then Throne Coming Cupid, who is my favorite Ever After High doll, probably. It's debatable. And then here is Signature Cupid, and another Signature Cupid. I have one in box and one out of box, which I'm glad about, actually, because I really like her in the box, too. And then over here is the, um, so I have Just Sweet here, but then I also have Birthday Ball, and then I have a Signature Doll. It's kind of everything. So this is the Birthday Cedar. And I actually bought her because she had different colored hair, but <laughs> yeah. And then Gingerbread House. I do have her glasses. They're just not there. And then I think that's Just Sweet Holly, but I'm not 100% sure. And then Birthday Rosabella, who also has her glasses, they're just not on her right now. And then this Maddie, she has such bad eye walk, I hope I can find another one nude. She looks terrible, but um, I don't really know what line she goes to, to be honest. <laughs> and then Just Sweet Blondie. And then up here, I have a two-pack inbox of the... Um, Ashlyn and Hunter set, and then there's Ashlyn and Hunter out of the box. Ashlyn's one of my favorite Ever After High dolls. And then these are here because they're also a two-pack, so I have Poppy and Holly. I do have all of my Ever After High dolls accessories, I just took them all off a while ago when I was younger and I never put them back on. But I know where they are, except the rings. And then Blondie Locks, Cedar, Cerise, which I have the, I believe this is the Indonesia version of Cerise, I can't remember. Um, 
This is into the woods, Poppy, but she's missing her vest or something. And then this is a picnic raven, I think. This is Spring Unsprung Kitty, I think. Yeah, Spring Unsprung. She's one of my favorites. Oh, my lamp fell. She's one of my favorite of Raptor High Dolls. And then back there is Spring Unsprung Cedar in the box. It is really hard to keep her in the box because I don't have one out of the box. <laughs> then over here, these are like the newer ones, which I'm missing Jillian and Nina from, and um, Myra, I guess. And Courtly Jester, those are the Ever After High Dolls that I desperately need. Here is Justine Dancer, one of my favorites as well. Michelle Mermaid. Melody Piper? Melody Piper. And then her, Farrah Goodberry, okay. Farrah Goodberry, I got it. She's missing her hand and her wand because they, they both are in my Monster High bin. I just can't find where they are in the bin right now. And then I accidentally put these Herdorables here for a thumbnail and forgot to move them before this video, so let me get them out of the way. <laughs> This shelf is not done, but it's gonna be like my uh, Throne Coming and Legacy Day shelf eventually. But this is Royally Apple White, who I love. This doll is one of my favorites as well. And then this is Throne Coming Blondie, who is in the box. I don't have one out of box, so again, it is really hard to leave her in the box. Um, and yeah, so that was my Ever After High collection. <laughs> Thank you guys so so much for watching, and let me know what you think, and let me know who your favorite Ever After High doll is. Oh. And the Comic-Con Cedarwood doll. I, this is the only Comic-Con monster or Ever After High doll that I have. She's really cool. Like, this is a really cool doll. My friend Sharon got her for me for Christmas one year and I was completely floored because, like, what kind of high schooler buys this as a Christmas present for their friend? She took me out. And then I responded by getting her a mermaid tail. So now we're even, I think. <laughs> oh, I miss her so much. Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and again, let me know who your favorite Ever After High doll is, and go ahead and flex on me and tell me one that I don't have. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching for all this time. Bye!